A 66 Dodge Coronet 500 with a 426 under the hood in three, two, one. These 66 Coronets have a very cool 60s styling. I always like that reverse taper on the roof line. And it looks great wearing a deep blue paint job with matching blue interior and blue striped tires. But it's not all blues when you put your foot down on the 426 Hemi. These are unit body cars which means the body structure does not sit on a full frame. Instead, it uses a front K-shaped member that holds the engine and transmission and suspension, which is less massive than a full length frame, saving weight and adding rigidity to the structure. And as big as they are, these are not very heavy cars. Torsion bar suspension and 14 inch wheels hold the road and disc brakes were optional to keep the confidence level up when going fast. The 426 Street Hemi was made available in 1966 and they were installed in a variety of Coronets and other B platform cars. However, for 67, Dodge mandated that the Street Hemi was only to be installed in the muscle cars that had special model designations like the 67 RT, for example. The 426 Street Hemi is a milder version of the earlier Race Hemi. Where the Race Hemi versions were squeezing 12 and a half to one compression and a radical cam profile, the Street version was reduced to 10.25 to one compression and had a much more tame camshaft for daily driving duty. But they retained the hemispherical combustion chamber that was so critical to the racing success of Chrysler over the years. The dual four barrel carburetor setup provided more than enough air and fuel, and exhaust manifolds did what they could to keep up with the oversized valves. The bottom end of these engines were stout and could handle high RPM abuse, and the Torque Flight three-speed automatic transmission and eight and three-quarter inch rear differential were all partners in crime. The result is 425 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. Magazines recorded low 14s in the quarter mile in stock trim on stock tires, but these cars responded well to headers, exhaust, sticky tires, gears, ignition curving. You could be pushing low 13 second quarter miles in a weekend with some basic mods. This big Dodge is road trip ready with comfortable bucket seats, plenty of room in the back, full-length console for the automatic transmission, basic instrumentation, a fully transistorized AM radio. It does not have a clock, but it kind of looks like it does. But the cool thing is, in a car like this, take it on a road trip, you're going to get there in a hurry. There's not much trim on the car outside of the wheel lip and rocker moldings and four interesting little slot-like medallions that break up the long quarter panels. The grille features basic styling with rectangles and circular headlight openings. Again, not fancy, but very clean. You know, not too flashy to raise any eyebrows. Overall, this Coronet 500 426 Hemi car is a great sleeper. If you didn't notice the tiny 426 badge on the fender, you might think that this was a more sedate 115 horsepower six cylinder job on the way home from the grocery store. But when the hammer hits, it's taillights. We hope you enjoyed this 66 Coronet as much as we like playing with it. We've got a lot more cars like this on our website at Muscle Car of the Week. I'm gonna go find another cool one from the Brothers Collection for next week's show. See you then.